You know the part that I hate most when you do these band things online, you know, these, these platforms? They always put your name of the band and then they say, sounds like. Sounds like? Yeah, yeah, like you're supposed to describe what you sound like. And? So you say, you know, Urgent Fury, and then it says, sounds like, and then I'm like, Urgent Fury sounds like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> How do you write that? Ah? Virgin Fury is like a like a car accident. It is, no, it's like it's a car not, accident. It's not like a car accident. No, either. listen. First comes the impact, then comes the realization. I make noise. I formed Judge and Fury in 1984 after I gave a demo tape to Zev Rogoff who gave it to Harry Verducci who plays drums and then we played CBs and gigs and played with bands like Scream and Marginal Man and Stissism and Apple and False Prophets and then we put out a tape and then Zev left to get married and fights with Harry so I left to do acoustic music and then we got Adam Hoffman and started playing again but fights with Harry we put out a 7-inch that I still hate, and then Adam left, and then we got another guy named Frank Nichols, but I have no pictures of him. We did our last live gig. I put out the record and broke out the band and moved to Seattle and wrote four books and moved to Berlin, where I did some rope burns. While working on a reissue of the 10-inch, I decided to go to New York and just do it all over again. My friend Lewis hooked me up with Kayleen, who brought Gina in, and after a couple of rehearsals, we were on stage as the new Urgent Fury. I have a question for you. <laughs> What's that? Uh, do you have my lighter? Yes, ma'am. Good. <laughs> awesome. So there, there was a little bass thing. Uh, was that, uh, did I pass a bunch of other stuff? That's kind of the first thing that really stuck out. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I gave you more of the, the fast part. I don't use the term alone on, the on those parts. No, I only use it to extend the little part. Yeah, just I, mean, I, I don't know if we're spending too much time on this. Okay. Okay. It's on this part, right? But the yeah. speed sounds all right there. You like it? Yeah, the speed sounds so all right. So let's give it that floatiness without it getting in the way of the rhythm. Right? Yeah, so let's just let's go through this one more time so I can get all those all right. tremolo parts. 
who's waiting? I mean, who's really sitting around waiting, you know, to be discovered or have some big company come over and give you some studio time, you know? Bands do it themselves these days, and that's really inspiring, you know? And even if a band has like 5% of the entire population that's gonna dig their music, it's great that you should go in and you should make that music for that 5%, man. I, I want my 5%, man. I'll make music for them, and I'd love to see them come to shows. 5% sounds good to me. totally in the dark. You're totally in the dark, okay? But look, I can fix that. Hey! I'm a sneak. I this song so many different ways that I kind of lose it.